the insurance industry can learn a lot from the pharmaceutical industry in terms of how to cultivate a risk culture and facilitate customer value from the first line of defense. The head of production of pharmaceutical company uh, knows that it's up to him to get this right. There's not going to be a second line of defense looking over his shoulder and saying, yes, you've managed the risk well. And paradoxically, we're dealing with a much higher risk, the risk of human life. Uh, so he knows that it's up to him to get the production right, the quality right, you know, everything needs to be exactly by the book. Um, or, you know, it's his job and his company is going to, his company's reputation is going to be on the line. He really sees risk management as part of his job. Uh, whereas in the insurance industry, we see a lot of situations where there's that ambiguity between whether risk management is, you know, the business of the first line or is it the second line of defense who are responsible. And there's a constant tension, what does that actually mean? What owning risk management means and who, who takes decisions on things like setting up controls, on purchase of reinsurance, on uh, acquisition of uh, insurance contracts, on deciding whether to go ahead or not with, with certain transactions that are high risk, on uh, what does it mean to generate a asset portfolio which is higher or lower risk? Is it, is it risk management to do that because you need to de-risk the portfolio? Or is it the investment department's role to do that because they are essentially the first line of defense? In order to make risk management more effective, um, top-notch insurers in, get um, people from the first line involved in their second line of defense. So, for example, somebody who's been an ex-asset manager becomes the head of market risk, and he is the day-to-day -day counterpart to the chief investment officer. Uh, and that means they have a better dialogue. The chief investment officer sees him as one of us, uh, they get the seat at the table and they really are able to influence risk management policies.